This is August 21st. We're having tea time with the fresh breeze under the trees, cicada chirping in the garden, flowers blooming so beautifully. This is uh, Don Yoshizawa and uh, I've been doing some uh, reporting here about uh, a senior citizen's home or what do you call it, a nursing home. And this is Masako here. And we're sitting here, you can see there's a breeze here. It's about 35 degrees, probably the high today, but it's uh, probably not so hot right now. We had lunch, finished in about 20 minutes. Came out here for a walk. And we were out in this garden here. It's a really nice garden. We have some flowers blooming over there. And uh, anyway, I've been doing this uh, uh, some corn, some, uh, clips about the uh, senior citizen's home or something about how they uh, don't want to feed her for like six years. And uh, I've been feeding her and. Uh, they put her on the tube, and that's my big thing is uh, I think a lot of people are put on the tube and they te deteriorate quite rapidly on the tube because they just lay there. And uh, I don't know what the doctors tell uh, I had one student, she said uh, she was feeding her, uh, not student, one lady next door, her mother was on the tube. She was a very old lady, uh, almost 100 or so, but anyway, she would eat, eat, eat like watermelon so she was getting her some watermelon juice and started coughing and so they said it was dangerous so stopped her from feeding her and uh, you know they, they come up with this and so she obeys the doctors you know it's like my wife too you know if a doctor tells her to go jump off the roof you know she'll go jump off the roof maybe she believes I mean you got to believe someone you know I mean you're talking about your health and stuff like that I mean it's good to believe a doctor but I had so many uh, times, uh, you know, with doctors with my children and doctors, especially with my mother, they're just uh, bullshitting, you know, I don't mean, I mean, even know how they even became doctors, you know, it's like, uh, it's just, uh, anyway, they want to put her on the tube, they want a tube feeder, they've been wanting to, and they even now, after six years, they want a tube feeder, right, and she looks so much better, you can look at these old clips I have, you know, and you can say, oh, well, she just uh, got better, you know, usually senior citizens' homes, they don't get better, they get worse, you know, and uh, that's that's why because they they just keep them alive, you know. They can put them on that tube, and they can go for five years, six years, I don't know, even longer, you know, on the tube. And it's very convenient for this uh, nursing home. They don't have to feed them, and the relatives are, you know, they look really bad, you know. And, and probably after one year, they can't even eat. Anyway, I got her. We're finished with this rehabilitation stuff about the eating and drinking. That's old stuff now. What we're going to do now is have her talk. I don't know. This is the one step. Uh, I want you to have your talking, Masako. Do you think you can do that? Can you hear me? This is Don, your son now. And uh, I want you to talk, you know. We're going to do that. That's what we're working on now. And you may think I'm crazy, but I'm, I got her eating. I got her. And they, they, you know, and they've been harassing me, you know. They continue harassing me. And they turn it around that I, you know, who do they believe? You got 10 staff, four or five doctors or nurses, about four or five, maybe 10 nurses around here. And I'm the bad one. And, uh, you know, it's like, who do you believe, you know? Only thing I can do is make these pictures and show you how they don't want to feed her, you know? I mean, they say they feed her. I come here late sometimes. They feed her a little bit. They feed her, yeah, it's true. They need to tell these true lies, you know. Yeah, they feed her about two or three spoonfuls, and then they go run back and put her on the tube. I still have her on the tube now for emergencies, you know. It was a long time ago, you know, when she first got to the hospital, they've had the tube going up her nose. And these people were cramming it around, you know. And some people can put it in there gently and do it right, but they wanted me to, they wanted me to get a tube, you know, this peg thing, but I didn't want to do it. And so they start cramming that tube right around in front of me. Had a nerve it right in front of me, cramming it up and down. You know, you can see she's going through all this pain, just cramming it up and down. So I figured, okay, well, might as well, you know, get the tube, you know. And so we got the tube, you know. The nutrition was before, it was going down and into her nose and into her stomach. So we got the tube now, a canister, a tube going down straight into her stomach. And, you know, I thought, uh, 
doctor said, oh, she can't eat, it's dangerous. And I, okay, she didn't seem like she really wanted to eat, so I said, okay. And I started just giving her a little bit, and it was like a, 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 it's a rehabilitation. They don't offer here, and they didn't offer any tests that say she can't eat. And all these other people are still back there just deteriorating. And I don't know, there's about 15, 20 of them, and maybe they're really bad condition, and they should. The tube has a good point, you know, I guess. Uh, if you can't eat, you know, you can get the nutrition is dangerous to eat, you know, they might be dangerous to eat. I, I, it's hard for me to believe that my mother is only one. Everybody else in there that eating, they can uh, feed themselves, basically. She's the only one that has to have help. All the other people are just tube fed. It's just a big coincidence. I can't believe this is coincidence that my mother is only one. Oh, it's a, one lady said, oh, it's a miracle she's eating. Oh, it's no miracle. I'm not. No, Jesus Christ, I'm just a regular person. You know, I'm a, an idiot. I just do things all, you know, I, I, I always screw up all the time. And you know, uh, I figure, you know, eating is maybe a screw up, you know, maybe it is dangerous. Okay, so she dies. Well, it's better than being on that tube and looking like a sick ghost laying there. You should see him. I like to take a picture. I can't take a picture because of privacy matters, of course, you know. I don't know why, but they're really bad. And they sit in the bed, you know, 24 hours a day. Maybe they go take a bath. I don't know what they do. Yeah, I think they give them a bath, you know. But I mean, they're really pathetic looking, and they keep them there for five, six, ten years, you know. I mean, it's really bad. Uh, but maybe it's better than dying. I don't know. But the one thing I'm saying is they're putting them on the tube when they can eat, and they can enjoy eating. That's the thing about it. They did it to my mother, and I think they do it. And not this home only, not this place. They do it everywhere. And I'm thinking they do it not only in Japan, they probably do it in America, they probably do it in every country, just because they're money-hungry pigs.